Please, please, please don't do this nonsense at the gym. You're there to work out, not film TikTok dance videos. And listen, I'm all for dance between sets or on the treadmill. Love to see people do it. I do it myself. But you don't do it standing directly next to somebody that's working out just so you can distract them to get a reaction so you can film it and post it on social media for likes and attention. People in the gym are not accessories for your social media content. Be more respectful of them. You need to do better. Mind your own business. I'm pretty sure this one's planned because when you go on this Muppets page, she's got the same guy in different videos. I still think it's ridiculous that she's doing little TikTok dances in the gym, but now she's got the attention, she continues to do it. Now normally these Muppets make their pages private once Joey Swole's exposed them, but I think some of them are actually using it as a tactic to get more attention and views, just like this next donor. I was so uncomfortable, so I finally get around to my set. Now I want you to notice he's looking around, everywhere. Make sure nobody's looking. He has his phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. And just briefly, after he walks through, you can see that he's going to lift his camera up. You're going to take a quick snapchat with the fin yep, with the finger and put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do in creep. And I am so glad that I did not see you do this, because if I did, I'd be in jail and you'd be in the hospital, bitch. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? This is one of the worst videos I've ever had to do. Women are absolutely victims of harassment in the gym but you are not one of them. This man is not taking a photo of you, which everyone in the comments, men and women, seems to get but you. It looks to me like he lifts his phone up slightly to use facial recognition to unlock it. Not to mention his finger is literally over the camera lens and at that angle, he'd be taking a photo of the ground, not you. Then you go and you threaten this man, you call him a predator and you share the location of his gym? Really? This Gym Choose Fitness should kick your ass out. And that man, if possible, should press charges against you. Somebody said, ain't nobody checking for you, G.I. Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date him? No, he's fat. Well done. Would you date him? No, he's fat. That's what I'm talking about! Fellas, you need to take care of yourself. And one thing that so many guys miss that they end up regretting later is neglecting their skincare. That's why I'm excited to have T. Shanley as a sponsor of today's video. T. Shanley is all about making skincare simple and effective for guys like us. With their level one system, you get everything you need for healthier, clearer skin. And guess what? They've offered an exclusive deal just for you. When you become a member today, you'll get 30% off your box plus a free gift. I didn't always take my skincare seriously, but now I am and the results speak for themselves. If you're looking for an easy, no-nonsense approach to skincare that actually works, T. Shanley's got you covered. Also, T. Shanley are now offering you guys a bigger, better deal. You now get 30% off your first box, a brand new gift even better than the last one, and 20% off for life. So just click that link in the description and take a look for yourselves. Yo, yo. Oh. Keep doing what you're doing and keep the grind going and she gonna walk in my video right now right keep the grind going unless of course somebody walks through your video while you're filming at the gym so many people sent me this video today and what's most disappointing is that this is a two-time mr olympia which means he's one of the best in the world to do it on stage and in the gym to this young man Congrats on all your success. You have an incredible physique and you've won one of the greatest titles there is. But none of that gives you the right to treat people this way 
or act as if just because you're filming that you own the gym. It says update, he posted an apology and was accountable. He didn't point fingers or blame anyone. He simply stated he wants to do better and I respect that. I don't buy it to be honest. I think he's just sorry because he got called out and he probably don't want to ruin his sponsors and reputation. No normal human being is going to act that entitled. You can't just go to a public gym, set up your camera and expect everyone to walk around it just for you. Can you spot me? Just ripping. Oh. One more. Good. I drink a pre-workout meal with, with my, when I do my workouts. Whoa. Oh shit. It says he cleaned it up afterwards, but I don't give a shit. I think it's a shit prank, it's not funny. And if he does that in my gym, he's not coming back. I hate when people make their sport their whole personality. You know what I mean? Like it's all they'll talk about, all they'll post about, somehow bring it into every conversation, like. Xbox. TikTok Muppets are not safe when this guy's around. If you got some dirt, then he's gonna dig it up and he's gonna expose you. I never thought I was pretty. I got you, girl. Since you asked for brutal honesty, I'm gonna give you a makeover to help you instantly glow up. Stop faking your videos. These people never ask you to be brutally honest about their looks. You added the texts yourself when in the original video they didn't ask you to give them a glow up. You did this more than one time. Here's the proof. Who are you to tell people what to do hiding behind a screen trying to help people whenever? Stop scamming people with your website that you offer private sessions which you use an app to do it. See, Got your ass. Look at my guy go grabbing numbers at the light. Gotta love having a Lambo in South Florida. They love you for the money but not for you. So if you ever lose it, they'll be gone too. That's cool mother bars nigga! Do you drink liquor? Nah, no, no, not really, like, it depends, like, on occasion. So when you out doing ho no, shit, no, 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 no. Okay, so, do you do drugs? Uh -uh. So you just a boring nigga? What? Yeah. Me too. I like a nigga I can have fun with. What you, what you do? What you, what you be drinking a lot? What you mean have fun? No, I'm saying, you know, what do you, no, you what else, what else? Drugs, have fun. No, you don't, you don't. So what else makes you happy, like, like that gets you? I be chilling, I'm always happy, I ain't never mad. That's good, okay, I feel you got kids? Uh -uh. You want kids? Yeah. You got a kid? I do have a kid. Bye, bitch! All right, I'm gonna think about it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say yeah. Nah. Not so boring after all. I mean, if you think smoking and drinking is the only way to have fun, then you've got a problem. And you probably need Michael. Get some help. I have OnlyFans. This here's the cold hard truth. Mm. I gotta give it what to happened? you. So don't tear up. Oh God, are you gonna, I already know where it's going. The type of men that you want won't want you. The men that actually understand their value and understand women, these men look for certain types of characteristic traits in a woman. They look for a virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. And the OnlyFans would disqualify you from a huge majority of those men. I go to church. You know, I read ugly. the Bible. It doesn't matter! I pray then to God. You, Listen, I have a conversation with God every day. He knows why I'm doing it. But you still throw the OnlyFans I, up there like, oh God, well, my booty! Well, well, can I? <laughs> If you've got an OnlyFans, but you pick up a Bible, you go to church every so often, you still belong to the streets. Open the door. Can you please get away? Can we talk? Riri, no, I gotta go to work. Can we talk? Okay, go ahead, talk. But I'm alive. Can we talk? Can go ahead. put the window down? No, speak, no, none of that shit. Put the window down. No, I'm talking like this. I can't see you. Talk to me. I can't see you. Talk to me. I can't see you. I can see you. Put the window down. Yo, talk. Bahala Mintana. Okay, who is he then? Who is he? My cousin! Stop the cap. Ya yo te dije, habla español, es mi primo. Riri, you are f***ing Dominican. How is he your cousin? The dude was blocker than me. <laughs> yeah, this one's not only for the streets, but she's for the asylum. Is that your man's? Can I get a picture? Of yeah, of course you can, darling. Oh, hey, is that your boyfriend now? I swear. Oh, yeah, so basically we're filming a video, yeah? It's called a loyalty test. I've got 100 quid right now. Sorry. You two got to go for each other's phones. Yeah. Why are you stressing? No, you're going? Yeah. Nah, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, you're hiding something on your phone now. Nah. Hey, I've got 100 pounds, yeah? You two swap phones and we'll see who's cheating. Oh, she's stressing. 
Go on, let's have a look, bro. What's yeah, your you name, brother? At this point. What? what? Uh, who's Bella? Oh, that's my cousin. Uh, what's your name, bro? Are you baby on there? Who's that? I don't know. Click, go through that. Scroll up. I think it's a girl. Uh, uh, <gasps> what? You found him cheating? What's going on? <laughs> Wait, who are all these men them on her snap, bro? Like, who's I that? Do not know. Who's that? Look. Who's all these? How long have you two been dating? Huh? How long? How long have you two been dating? Six months. Six months. Well, go on the Instagram DMs. Oh, hey, yeah. go, no, no, go back Shit, on Insta. Why are you taking your phone? Where's my phone? Wait, why is she taking the phone, bro? Go on Instagram DMs. Show him your Instagram DMs. No. Oh, what, you're messaging another man? Why, why can't you show him your Instagram DMs? She's Wait, actually cheating on you, though, bro, for real. Where's Wait, back phone? out your Instagram DMs, darling. I can't. Yeah, why not? What are you hiding? She what are you hiding, run. then? Huh? Back out your Instagram DMs. I've got 100 quid right now to show him your Instagram DMs. No. She's trying to run away. Are you going to have that, brother? You, all, right, what, all right, look, go on. Let's have a look, yeah? All right, who are these men? Go on there. Oh, this is my best friend. Your best friend? Yeah. Ain't no way. No! Oh, go on that, go on that. No, bro, you got to click that. Nah, bro. Oh, my God. The fuck? No, go up, bro. Go up on that. Go up on your best friend. But That's calm, because he has a girlfriend. Oh, oh man, bro. nah, That's my bro. other friend as well. Your other friend. Click on your other friend. Click on. Go up. She's talking to all his friends. Why did you leave me on scene? Why is your girlfriend asking another man if she left her on scene? Bro, this relationship's washed, I can't lie. Uh, let me take your number though. For real. This ain't this ain't looking like it's gonna last long. I'm just saying, innit? This ain't looking like it's gonna last long. I'll give you 100 quid, bro, yeah, but I want your girl's number, I can't lie. Alright, that's cool. Alright, can I take your number real quick? Yeah, Brad. Can you look away? I think he's got to be tested. Like can you look away? Uh, give me a kiss no on the way. cheek, girl. I'm joking. You're a Sorry, bro. Alright, uh, get rid of these bro. Oh, that's a... It's an evil world we live in. Yeah, the worst part about this one is his friend stabbing him in the back. He needs to get some new friends and he needs to get rid of that girl. Because she literally just told him to turn around so she can get another man's number after being exposed. And he's got a man up as well and stop being such a simp. You can't take this level of disrespect. If you don't respect yourself, no one's going to respect you. If she cheats, she belongs to the streets.